Hi, Year 7. We're going to try and analyse some poetry because you have to do this uh, with the Anna Yin poem. So let's have a look at this poem here and see if we can find some poetic devices. So the poem, let's read it. He sleeps to escape to the home of his dream. Now, what do you think? Uh, what have we got there? So he sleeps to escape to the home of his dreams. Oops, that's not very good. Uh, the home of his dream is imagery. So we would write imagery there. Oops, imagery. Uh, to the outstretched arms of his quiet mind. Uh, now, there we could, we could say the outstretched arms of his quiet mind. Uh, we could, we could again. We could talk about imagery, or we could say there is. Uh, we could say that is personification. So P for personification. So we're saying his mind is. Um, we're talking about his mind and and uh, as having outstretched arms. Now, our mind doesn't really have outstretched arms. But we could say it's personification. Soft light from far away moon bathes him in a gentle river. Now look at that, bathes him in a gentle river. So it's the light from the moon. So we're talking about uh, soft light. What sort of light is it? So it's describing what sort of light it is from a far away moon, bathes him. So again, that's, we would say that's imagery because he's not really bathing. In that. So that's imagery. Uh, as he hears the call of subconscious friends. Alone, says Ava. Away, says Adam. Always, says Annalise. Now, if you remember back to uh, one, of the, one of the devices that we had, what we call literary devices, was, uh, on the matter, uh, was alliteration, sorry. And so we say A and Ava, and away, and Adam, and always. So we call that alliteration. So you, you would put that down. He is a feather in a gentle breeze. So remember, if we say someone is something, then it is a metaphor. So that would be a metaphor. Metaphor. A note in a dancing melody. Again, that could be um, imagery, I suppose. Um, his dreams overtake his wakened state. His dreams overtake his wake. Now, that could be personif or um, we could say personification, but there's certainly imagery there. Uh, and this, in this next one, like a gentle fog. So where we see the word like uh, a gentle fog, we know that that is a simile. So we can write down simile there. Simile. Uh, immersed, covered, wrapped up and content. Immersed, covered, wrapped up and content. The morning light beckons but not for him yet so the more beckons means uh, tells him to come come close it means like waving to someone if you beckon to them you come close now if we say the morning light beckons him the morning light's just the light and it's not really a person but we would call that personification personification okay so that is there, so we are having a look at that poem, we are analysing that poem and we talk about uh, parts of it having imagery, personification, imagery, um, alliteration, there's metaphors, there's similes and again there is personification down the bottom. That is making something that isn't real like a person. So you need to do that with, uh, with the poem by Anna Yin. So just do it the way I've done it, by trying to write on the poem the way I have, but writing the whole words. 
uh, imagery, personification, metaphor, simile. Okay, well, good luck.